Third, um, solutions available, and which is by far the most common, easily um, use portable point of care systems. The idea is to download and install the app onto your mobile device, register yourself, start entering data, start generating reports. But that the, the easier part finishes there because these reports which are generated are generally not the same as the Royal College of Nethless reports. They differ, they're not very good to look at, so you need to export uh, your database as a CSV, which is a comma separated value file, which is one of the formats used. Uh, and then you import this CSV file onto your Royal College of Nethless software and try and generate reports from there. So it's, you know, trying to take longer way around things but at least it ensures that you start entering your data uh, at the time you're doing it. I think data collection is probably uh, where I found things most challenging to begin with because you need to have a database to start doing anything. So these portable electronic lock solutions are probably best suited for data entry. They've got a fairly user-friendly interface. They're the most popular as I see around. Uh, but then there are potential problems available with them as well. I can generally see two types of solutions available um, in the market. One is proprietary lockbook software and the other types are proprietary database management softwares. So, the most commonly used ones, I guess, logs are proprietary logbook software. Okay, so this is an app that you can go onto the app store, download onto your uh, iDevice, and then you use the logbook directly from there. It doesn't do anything other than just a logbook. Uh, whereas other database management softwares can have uh, database software installed onto your iPhone. Uh, and then you can use different templates downloaded from whichever resources you want. And so you can maintain different multiple templates, for example, one template for uh, anesthesia logbook, one for your pain logbook, one for IT logbook, one for obstetric logbook, and you can you know, maintain as many uh, templates as you want to, which is definitely one um, uh, attractive point about the uh, database uh, softwares. Let's look at one uh, uh, proprietary logbook software, I guess log. This is probably the most famous of uh, the softwares out there. It's a one-time investment. It's slightly on the expensive side, though. It's portable. You do not need uh, internet connection for data entry. It's a good software. It mirrors the field of uh, Royal College of Nethless. You can import and export files on this. You can back up the data. Uh, but you need um, to have uh, internet connection for that. Um, and you can send up the data as um, uh, email the data to yourself, to your Gmail account or whatever account you want to put it. Uh, however, the limitation is you cannot back up the data as an Excel or a CSV file. Um, uh, so that can be slightly tricky. Uh, other problems being it is not available for Android. You can edit only certain subfields, not all of them. You, you can edit database, but it's slightly tricky. The report generation was, in fact, pretty awful. I didn't like it. So I think uh, I'll have to go a long way around it and export it to the Royal College of Nethere software, and then uh, that is what my colleagues have done in the past. And obviously, there are no dedicated subspeciality fields available uh, with this software. On the other hand, the database management software, you need to download and install that software, register yourself, import the template, for example, Handybase software. When you go to their website, they've got a gallery of already available templates. They've got 3,000 of them, which are free to download. When I searched this gallery, I could see 15 different anesthesia logbooks already created by other people as templates available on their website that you can easily go online from your phone once you've installed the software. You go online and you can import one of the templates onto uh, the software and then you can start customizing a template immediately. You can enter, analyze data, edit data. So it probably provides you the best and the most flexible environment to tinker with your data. And then you can import or export uh, 
your database as a CSV file and uh, either print reports from the software itself or from Royal College of Needs uh, software onto your desktop. Uh, so the good thing with something like HandyBase, it's a one-time investment, it's not a huge one. Um, it's a portable system, it's available across all platforms. You don't need a data uh, yeah, connection for entry. You can edit customized fields, you can edit databases, you can import, export, you can back up the data and you can set it as an Excel file or a CSV file. Um, however, the problem can be that uh, they have got their dedicated desktop software, so if you want to do certain things on the desktop, you'll have to uh, purchase the desktop version, which uh, I think it starts from $14 and goes upwards. And I can't really see any dedicated subspecialty field uh, with the uh, by default template that uh, you can install, but uh, you can customize and create your own. And there are certainly other subspecialty logbook available on their gallery that you can download and start using. So to um, sum up the database uh, management software, they're probably the best way to do it. They need some learning. Uh, you can customize everything. You can build your own database. Um, and the available products are HandyBase, which is available across all platforms. FileMaker Go, which is, I think, I couldn't see an Android version of things. Um, there's a unique program called as Memento, which is a freely available uh, database management software available for Android only. Uh, there's a pro version of this available as well. So uh, probably it might not be a bad idea to go on to the Google Play App Store uh, and try and look for Memento. And if you have a look at the online videos, you'll understand what I'm trying to say. To summarize, as people say, um, uh, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. So it depends upon what you're looking for in a logbook, uh, how much you're willing to put into it. So if you're willing to put a lot of effort but you want perfection, then probably Royal College of Finis 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 software is the best solution for you. Okay. Uh, the other thing that you can look into is a dedicated online NSC logbook. A, if you've got um, internet connection uh, at your trust or on your phone uh, and you don't mind paying the recurrent expense for it. Uh, however, if you want to maintain a logbook and you, you're trying to uh, approach it as a bare minimum approach, then probably uh, just having a simplistic eye gas log on your eye device uh, is good. However, the problem is it's not available for Android. What do you do then? Um, uh, but if you're somewhere in between, that is, you are willing to put in some effort, but you want to customize and edit and get what you want, uh, then probably softwares like database um, management softwares, HandyBase for different platforms, Memento, especially for Android and FileMaker Go for iPhone, are the, the kind of softwares that probably you need to explore uh, to have a look into things. Uh, that is it. Uh, so thank you for watching this uh, podcast. This is the video podcast series brought to you by regionalfortrainees.com. Tune into learning.